Alright guys, so I'm back to the surface in my little storage room. And we're also going to make this into the mini workshop. So we're going to jump right into industrial craft and how to use those machines. And first I'm just going to put away some of my materials that I don't need. So the basis of industrial craft are machines that kind of extend your ore supply. So the f machines we want to build are the macerator, this guy, the extractor, this guy. What's the other machine I want to build? Bat box. Eh, there's an, there's, oh, the furnaces and the electric furnace. So these are the three core machines we want to build. And what they do is they double your ore supply and cook it for you and drastically increase your rubber supply because we'll be using a lot of rubber. But before we do all of that, we need power, which means we need a generator. And this is why um, Anthony made all these lovely furnaces for us because you use them to make the generator. So the generator is... There were a lot of them. I'm going to go with this method. You've got the furnace, the machine block, and an RE battery. So... We know how to make a furnace. The RE battery is this shape, this thing. There are two sources of rubber in the game, but this mysterious source of rubber actually isn't in the game. The trees that generate it are turned off, but I'm going to go through and create the ores I need to build these machines, and then we'll get back to it. Alright, so I've shoved everything I need in here. I need 26 refined iron, which we're going to make from these 26 iron ore. Notice that I do not smelt all of my ores immediately, only what I need right now. And we'll get to why that is when we finally have the machines. I need 9 copper, 18 rubber, and 16 tin. So I'm going to let these machines run down, make all the ore, and then we'll get back once we have all of the crafting materials. Alright, so welcome back. Um, I've got most of the materials I need. I'm sure I've forgotten something, so we'll get to that when the time comes. What do you use to break a, um, a cactus? Uh, your fist. Oh. oh. Yes, you challenge it to a game of fisticuffs. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> well, you've got really bampons. I mean, you can break through obsidian with those things, so... That's true. Yeah. So I made some copper cable here. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the generator. So, let's see. Generator. I know what a generator looks like, so I'm not actually going to bother with this. So first I need a furnace. Look, I got an achievement kit. I need a battery. How many batteries do I need? Four? I need four, otherwise you wouldn't have to get four of these things. Yeah, you need three for the bad box and one for the generator. Yeah, I thought so. So there are my batteries. Um, generator, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, I guess I need three of these. Can you grow cacti? Yep, you can grow them on uh, desert juice. You know what the word I'm looking for there is, because I don't. Sand? Sand? Yes. Desert juice? Really? What would you call it, huh? Not desert juice? Anti desert juice? Desert juice. I'd pretty much call it sand. Alright. So I've got my generator. I need to make a macerator now. So macerator looks like this. 
got our circuit. Your circuit is kind of the base of all the machines you make. So you need a lot of them when you're going through doing this. I need the flint. What's wrong here? Oh, that's a generator, not a machine block. Yeah, all right, macerator. And then last but not least, the extractor. Well, second to last. So I need four tree taps. And you can right click to put down one block on the crafting table rather than putting them all down or right clicking to pick them up or whatever convolution thereof. Alright, so we're almost there. We need one more tool now, the bat box. And then we can get into the nitty gritty of what all this does. So, bat box. Now I'm just going to pick up all these things since I want to put the machines on this wall. And so first things first, let's get all my machines out. Oh, I didn't need to build a furnace. Oh eh, well. So these are my machines. I've got the macerator, the generator, the extractor, and the bat box. So the generator, as its name implies, generates power for me. So I'm going to hook this directly up to the bat box. Am I putting these directly against the wall, Anthony, or... I don't care. I don't care. Let's see. I suppose I will. Why not? So, generator. Uh, we have updated our version of Industrial Craft 2 to the new one, which Tekkit is not quite running yet. So that fixes some face issues with industrial craft items. Uh, I'm gonna kind of dig out this back wall, I guess. So back here we've got a big hole. Of course, who doesn't have one of those in their house? Oh look, I got some iron back here. Okay, so the reason I'm going through all this trouble is when I put this bat box down, the side facing me will be green. And this is the side power comes out. So the bat box stands for battery box, and it's a large storage unit for electricity. So the generator here, I put charcoal in. I'll put in a couple. And it starts producing energy. Since it's attached directly to the bat box, it transmits the power to the bat box. So we can see the bat box starting to charge up. And then, in my infinite wisdom, I left plenty of copper cable for me. So I'm just going to quick generate some more copper cable. You know, put down furnaces, melt rubber, melt copper, and all that. But I'm not really going to do that. I'm just going to use my opinus to make some copper cable. That zombie had full gold armor. Yeah, that's part of our texture pack. So we have the variable mobs thing going on there. So I'm going to leave a space between the bat box and my first machine. So I've got the macerator and the extractor, and I'm going to leave this space open too. So, Peppermint's not going to be happy with this, but that's okay. So as we can see, we've got some power in here, and now we're just going to go over what the heck these machines do. So I've got my ore, I'm going to start with the resin and the iron. That noise is a zombie, he wants to say hi, so we'll let him in. He's such a good zombie. Just gonna let zombies into our house. What you want me to leave them outside where it's cold? So this is the extractor. I'm gonna put my sticky resin in here. And if you recall from when we 
cook the sticky resin in the furnace, if we got one rubber per sticky resin. This machine gives us three re rubber per sticky resin, which effectively triples our sticky resin supply. Or our rubber supply, I mean to say. And that's not even technically true, because... Um, I don't know if we have any rubber wood around here. We don't. But you can also cook rubber wood in here to generate one rubber. So that gives you a lot more rubber, which is why we rush this machine first. Our other machine is this thing, the macerator. And we put the iron ore in here, or any other ore pretty much, and it will start macerating it. And so, these machines are tier 1 machines, they're slow, they're clunky, they take forever to run one operation. And if we look at our bat box, we see that they're now using power. There's nothing in the generator, so the generator is not producing power, and we're losing power from our bat box. So, as you can see, we're making things, and this is making iron dust. And iron dust is the exact same thing as iron ore in terms of smelting it in furnaces and whatnot. So, I'm just going to wait until I've got eight iron dust. No, I'm just going to go, actually. And I'm going to start melting them, because I need more refined iron so I can make an electric generator. And the whole point of this setup is kind of to get all of your crafting in one place, all of your ore processing in one place, and to improve the efficiency. So it does take a little longer to macerate your iron and cook it than it does to just straight cook it, but you get twice the iron out of it, so it's a good trade. Down. So I want to make the electric furnace, so I need first the iron furnace, and this is the cheapest way to make an iron furnace, and I'm going to mix the iron furnace with two redstone and electronic circuit, which naturally means I need more rubber and copper. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to get my copper out, I'm going to shove it into this machine, uh, I'll get my refined iron out of here, you can never have too much refined iron, and I'm going to stick my copper in here, and then with the magic of pause, we'll have copper ore, or dust. Okay, so we made our copper dust. We're just going to quick run over to our generator. And we're going to cook this. Alright, so now we have enough copper to make copper cable. Um, I make my copper cable like this, rather than surrounding it with the alternative recipe. Because you can make it like this with the six rubber and the three copper at once. I find it a lot faster to make the plain copper cable like this and then to insulate it separately so we're just gonna make our new shiny toy so first of all that requires refined iron good thing we accidentally made some I'm gonna put that in the middle redstone to either side three cable below three cable above and bam then we're going to make our electric furnace. And so, the mainstay of EU is that it replaces um, coal and whatnot as a power source, or as a furnace power source. So, now that I'm at this tech point, I will start to use solely... EU power devices to process all of my ore. This electric generator is obviously a lot faster than my furnace. The iron furnace that went into this is also faster than a furnace and more efficient. It can do 10 operations per coal instead of 8. And I didn't know that. It's kind of yeah, it's a fascinating fact. I'm full of facts. I know a lot. I need something else to do with my time. Making this tutorial is not the right choice. But someone's got it. Alright, so macerator macerates ore from single ore into two dust. Um, so
secret about the dust. You don't normally want to do what I'm doing with your dust here, so in fact I'm going to stop there. You want to save your tin and copper dust. Your iron dust, not so much. And the reason for that is iron dust can only be made into iron. Or invar blend. I don't know what that is. Whereas I don't know why I put that in there. Whereas tin and copper dust can be used for other things. So we've got copper dust. That's not what I wanted. Copper dust can be used to make copper, or you can use it to make these little piles of iron dust. If you're, for whatever reason, fed up with your tin, you can eventually craft iron by fusing these together make iron dust or you can use these oh come on where is it here we go bronze you can fuse three copper with tin to make bronze and you can make bronze uh, armor weapons tools pretty much any vanilla iron item can be made out of bronze and the bronze weapons and tools are a good intermediate stage since they don't use up your iron supply. And your iron supply is extremely valuable. And you go through a lot of iron. You don't want to waste it. So, Unfortunately, you also don't really want to waste your tin and copper on making bronze. So after you make your bronze tools, in fact, let's, let's go over what you would make out of bronze. The only thing out of bronze that you may or may not need. Let's find the ingot. So, what can you make out of bronze? Would be. Well, these are useful items, obviously. Let's go with these. So, any of these tools the pickaxe, the axe, the hoe you can make with a gem to make a better, stronger, longer lasting, faster version. So, there's no reason you would make that. A wrench you might use. Uh, the wrench is used to pick up your industrial craft machines, and I really should have mentioned this earlier. You can only pick up industrial craft machines with wrenches. So there's this wrench, there's the electric, electric wrench, and there's the omni wrench. So we're going to rush the omni wrench because it's so powerful. The omni wrench combines a whole bunch of these modifying tools, but we'll consider this wrench and things like it as all doing the same thing. You use them to either pick up machines or rotate them. So the battery box, if you recall, has five inputs for storing electricity and one output for sending electricity. Now I was picky about how I put it down because I wanted that output in a particular direction and I didn't have a wrench yet. After I get the wrench, I can right click any face except for the output face on the bat box and it will turn that face into the output face by pretty much rotating the block. Um, the regular wrench for Industrial Craft 2 has an 80 or 85 percent chance of picking up most machines. If you fail to pick up a machine, you will only get a machine block left back, which is the majority of your resources, but you lose whatever circuitry you put in there, so you lose about six copper and rubber doing it. Uh, what other machines are there? You can make a piston with bronze, not very useful. You can make a rail out of bronze, also not very useful and you can make the mixed metal ingot, which is very useful. The mixed metal ingot you use to make higher level industrial craft items. So this is the basis of industrial craft. This is as far as we're going to take it right now. Okay, so some of you may have noticed while I've been filling this um, generator, I don't fill it all the way with coal. And that is because the bat box will continue to draw power out of the generator, and the generator will continue to produce power as long as the bat box needs it. So eventually, if I fill the generator, the bat box will hit a point where it is fully charged. Then as soon as one machine draws any power out of the bat box, the bat box will lose some charge and request more power from the generator. That will cause the generator to consume another piece of coal. So if I have a bot box with 40,000 EU in it, I have a coal that produces 4,000 EU, and I have a machine that needs 2 EU, 
then I may end up wasting 3,998 EU. So I like to keep my generators under fuel, and I will just manually come by now and then put fuel in them to keep up with their energy demands. Um, as we get farther into Tekkit, we can actually automate this process based on the energy consumption of our machines. But we'll sidestep this by having automatic power generation. Our next step is to upgrade these machines to their tier two versions, which are far faster and more efficient. And we're also going to set up a farm since at this point we're getting hungry. We can't keep killing our cows. That's not sustainable resources. And we want to be good citizens of Minecraft. Um. Let us leave. Let us know in the comments below uh, how you feel about our videos. If there's anything we could do to make them better, and if you like them, and if you like to keep seeing them, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. I hope you learned a lot today. <laughs>